Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see, today is going to be a removing of all this glam on the face. I've actually never done a get on ready with me video ever or take off my makeup. I always do it in the bathroom because like the bathroom is where I don't mind making a mess. So now that I'm in my room with like all this stuff and this computery things and like the camera and the lights, I'm a little nervous. Not even gonna lie, I have a little bowl of water next to me. So when Clinique reached out to me to do a video together, I was like, you know what, let's do it. I've never done a get on ready with me video. So I'm like, dude, hell yeah, let's do this. And this is the thing with me. I don't know how it is with other people, but for me, I'm not scared of doing sponsored videos. I'm not scared of doing sponsored content, not at all, as long as it makes sense and I can be true to myself and who I am as a person. I am not a fan of people doing sponsored videos just for the sake of getting paid. That drives me fucking up the wall crazy because it's not honest. You have to be honest in videos. That's just how it is. And since I love some of the cleaning skincare already, I'm like, you know what? I'm totally down to do this with you guys. As long as I can do a first impressions, I have not used some of your guys' products, so I need to be able to be as honest as possible. And that's it. And that's or, or no deal. And so they said, you know what? It's totally cool. Let's go ahead and do it. We think you're going to love the products, so let's try it out. And I'm like, that's how it's done. Brands, if you're ever watching this, that is how it's done. Do not try to force YouTubers into saying things that they shouldn't be saying. Who's with me? Give this a like. Comment down below if you're with me. Because you guys see the sponsored videos. You guys know. You guys see through the camera and you know it's sponsored. So why deny it? Come on. It, it is what it is. I'm doing a sponsored video with Clinique. Thank you, Clinique, for the opportunity. I'm stoked to do it because this sounds like a fun video. And I don't ever do sponsored videos. Literally ever. I'm already going to remove the makeup. Might as well fucking film it. Let's do this first impressions. So if you guys don't like sponsored videos or you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it, you know that's wrong with that. But if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Andy Yummy Way and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. As you guys notice, I am wearing my pink robe. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know this robe is on my body at all times. My mother and father are like, you need a new damn robe. And I'm like, but I love pink and I love it. It's mine. I think you guys should help me name this robe because I wear it so often and I have Grayson, my gray hoodie. And you guys help me name that. So this pink robe, it's a girl. It is a girl. This one is a girl. I feel her feminine aura all over me all the time. So what should we name her? Some people are thinking like Rosa. Some people are thinking like Aurora. Like just cute ass little names. So let's come up with one. Until then, let's go and get into this video, this removing makeup video. First things first, let's start off with taking off the lashes. Oh, I never does a camera. This is freaking weird. Ooh, goodbye Iconics by House Lashes. That one did come off. So now I look basic as hell. I'm gonna start off with step number one. This is the Take the Day Off Bomb by Clinique. I love this. That This is why I agreed to this video because I was like, you know what? I love this so much that let's do it because this thing is so good. It is so good. Take the Day Off Bomb. It's literally a cleansing bomb. Patrick was actually the first one to use this and that I saw that I noticed using this and he loved it and he's like, hey, do you have this? And I'm like, yeah, I do. But I never tried it though. And he's like, can you give me it? Because I love it. And I'm like, no, not even if you want to try it. It reminds me a lot of coconut oil and the way of it takes off everything. It's a bomb. It's a hard solid. It turns into like a liquidy consistency, but it's non-comedogenic. So that's really, really cool. And you don't break out from using this. So that's why I like it so much. This is my one that I have used so you can see. It's had some love and it's about one of the third way done. Yeah. So we're just literally gonna just dip your finger, scrape your finger in there. That is totally fine. And we're gonna put that all, oh my God, this is so weird. Taking off my makeup in my room, what? I'm just gonna literally make it emollient. So it starts off white, turns into like a little paste and you literally just put it on and you just start going to town. You just go to town. Basically it melts the makeup on your face. Right over the lips. Oh, over your eyes too. I should have done one eye at a time. Wow, I should have really done one eye at a time. I was not thinking correctly. Oh, I need a towel. Take any kind of makeup remover wipe. I just, doesn't matter which kind, I'm just gonna take a blank one. And wipe away from your eyes first. Look at that. Like, that is a lot. That is a lot. So basically, this balm melts away all your makeup. It literally eats away at the powder, eats away at the liquid, eats away at everything, and it just disappears. If you don't want to use a little makeup remover, that's totally cool too. You can literally just take a little towel and that works absolutely amazingly. Because again, it's the balm that's really doing the work. It's not the makeup remover. The balm is what's melting it all away. Okay, great. So now that we use the balm to take off everything, as you can see, my face is literally like completely clean with just the balm. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to continue on with the little skincare products that they provided me. Thank you guys so much. Clinique, I love you guys. I literally have a warm towel cloth and a bowl of water in my room to just help with like everything. And this is white. Look at this is white. 
And look how little product comes off with just the balm. Mm. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to literally dampen my face a little bit with this towel. And then we're going to cleanse. We're going to use the liquid facial soap and the mild kind. This is just basically like their cleanser. And I'm just going to take that on my fingers. Comes out. How does it come out? It comes out like a, just a nice gel-like consistency. Ooh, this is some thickness. Okay, so we're just going to put that in the center. And rub it everywhere. Ooh, I like it. I like that it foams up. Oh, maybe just me, but I am a huge fan of um, things that, like, foam up. Because I feel like it's actually working. And I know, like, tons of cleansers work so great without bubbling up. But for some reason, it just gives me, like, a weird sense of satisfaction. And I do like it, so... So now that I drenched this towel all over with water again, I'm just gonna wipe off the cleanser. Just take it all off. So far, A plus on the cleanser. It felt absolutely amazing. It's very thick, it's very heavy. It like cleans very well deep down and I love that it bubbles up. It makes me, it just makes me happy. Like it makes me happy when things do that and it doesn't feel, hmm, doesn't feel, and it doesn't make my skin feel too dry either. So that makes me extremely happy because even though I am oily, I like to be hydrated. You guys know. You guys know that. So next step, step number three, we're going to be taking the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. And it says for dry combination skin. So that means it's going to be nice for people that are dry. I'm not dry, but I like, I like being moisturized. <laughs> so we're going to take the Clarifying Lotion. And I believe this is more of like an exfoliating type lotion. It's like a very lightweight liquid exfoliator but not too heavy it's very lightweight and it's just to help clean the skin of any other impurities that you might have on it from the makeup and your day and the smog and the things like that if you live in la smog i'm just gonna put that in the center of the nose and go outwards Ooh, this is strong oh my gosh this is strong so do not get this by your eyes because it will sting make sure to keep that by the perimeters of your face Woo! But my nose feels like fucking a baby but it can't, I can't believe I got out extra dirt. I thought I was clean as clean could be, but I thought wrong. Cool, so that's the last step. It's definitely more of an intense alcohol-y type of remover, but my skin does feel very, very, very cleansed. I mean, the second ingredient is alcohol in this, so it is very, very intense, but it's going to clean your face very deeply. If you're insensitive to alcohol in the face, I don't know if this would be the best option for you, because again, alcohol is a drying agent, but it's a very strong cleansing agent. So it's kind of like, oh, give and take. But on my skin, it works totally fine. I can emote just great. And my skin feels very, very, very clean. And I'm digging it. There's only five steps. But the fourth step is going to be the Clinique Custom Repair Serum. Any serum I am very happy with. I love serums. Serums make me giddy like a schoolgirl in church. And we're just going to put this all over the face. Our smart serum responds to the particular needs of your skin, targeting repair as needed, where needed. I like that. This is for tons of different problems. So that's going to make me very happy. I have... Plenty of problems to work with. This feels so, so good. Oh, I want to bathe my whole body. Especially after that exfoliating step. Like, this makes you feel so refreshed and hydrated. Wow. Last and final step is going to be the moisturizer. Of course, this is going to be the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. We're going to pump a couple of those pumps into the hand. If you have a small face, you're lucky. You don't have to use as much. I have to use four. Okay. Face lotion now. Oh, that feels very, very silky and very smooth. Slides on very easily. It's not too thin, but it's not too thick either. It's not like a thick ass moisturizer where it's like, oh my God, I'm gonna fall asleep because it's so thick kind of thing. Sleeping moisturizer, it's definitely not that. It feels like a very middle range moisturizer. It's not too thin, it's not too heavy. It's like a medium viscosity moisturizer. And I'm just pressing into the skin. I like to press stuff into my skin so I don't like to rub it as much because I feel like I'm gonna create wrinkles that I don't need that are already have plenty. Dude, honestly, my skin feels so hydrated. Does it look like it's hydrated and like, like it's ready for the fucking night? Does it? I think it does. And that's it for this entire video. That was it for the entire get unready with me slash trying out these cleaning products for the first time. I have not tried so many of these products, but I hope you guys liked it. And this was a different video for me. I know it was different and I'm here with my pink robe. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video down below. And if you guys did like it, please like this video on your guys' way out. Thank you so much to Clinique for wanting to partner with me. I don't ever really do sponsor videos or partnering with any brands. Like I just don't because they don't really make sense. So thank you for letting me take the reins and do what I wanted to do. I really do appreciate that so much. But yeah, that's it for the entire video. I hope you guys liked watching it. I will leave everything I used in today's video linked down below, as I always do because I'm so good with my descriptions, as well as my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Everything will be linked down below. But yeah, I'm going to go get ready for bed because I'm literally done. I don't even do anything else. I'm going to go to bed, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you. <laughs> okay, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. Give me the mug, give me the face, give me the mug. Why am I so diva? I think it's the fucking rub. The robe is rubbing off on me. It's making me be a queen. I mean, I've already, I was already a queen before, but now even more. I feel like I'm a freaking milkmaiden with this water. Like I'm milking some cows. Come on, Milky, come on. Yeah. These little hairs are out of control. Okay, let's calm everything down. Into... My hands are silky from the serum. I'm in my room. Oh, you can see my titties, but I'm not gonna show them. I'm not. I can sleep alone in my home. No, I'm in my fucking zone. In my zone. Mm -hmm.